Hello children I hope you all are great So let's start with our next chapter of chemistry soil In this chapter we will be learning about soil an important natural resource layers of soil components of soil formation of soil types of soil uses of soil absorption of water by soil soil and crops soil erosion soil pollution i hope you will enjoy this chapter and try to understand each and everything properly so let's get started before starting the main topic let's gear up do you think we can live without soil is soil that important part of your life children try to think and answer these questions what do you need to grow plants yes the answer is soil soil gives shelter to many animals do you agree yes we all do agree on it a potter needs clay to make nice pots so see even though we don't realize it but still soil plays an important part in our life soil an important natural resource soil is one of the most important natural resources it is a mixture of different types of rock particles and remains of dead plants and animal let's understand what is natural resource see anything which we use is called as resource and the things which are provided by nature are called natural so we use soil in various ways and it is provided by nature so that's why soil is an important natural resource next what is soil soil is actually is a mixture of different types of rock particles that is you will find different sizes of the particles in soil and remains of dead plants and animal so when a plant die it will get mixed into the soil same goes with the animals soil is found all around us that is in gardens school playgrounds at the parks at construction sites and also in the fields i hope you will agree with this statement and children you can do one thing you can stand up and observe your surrounding can you list the areas where you can find the soil if you observe carefully you will find that the soil lies beneath our feet that is you will find it under your feet and is often hidden by roads and buildings dear students as it is hidden by roads and buildings and most of the time it is under our feet probably this is the reason we often fail to realize how much soil affects our lives let us perform an activity to study various soil samples activity 1 aim to study various soil samples materials required different types of soil sample and a hand lens procedure collect different types of soil samples you may find them in your school at construction site roadside or a garden use a hand lens observe these samples carefully so you have to place the sample here by using a hand lens if it is available at your home try to observe the sample carefully make a list of all the things you find in the soil so you have to make a table like this and see things seen in the soil so you can find pieces of grass pebbles twigs dried leaves some insects also so here we conclude soil is a mixture of many substances it also contain living organism like insects earthworms etc children as it is very difficult to go out and search for various soil i am showing you few samples of soil like this one is the soil from garden so we call it as garden soil please observe it carefully now this soil is normally found in the playgrounds please observe it carefully this is the soil which is normally seen at construction sites 
children i hope you can easily differentiate between different types of soil now let's study about layers of soil soil is made up of different layers these layers contain particles of different sizes let us perform an activity to make a rough estimate of the amount of different particles present in different layers of soil so let's do it activity 2 aim to separate the various components of a soil sample into different layers materials required a glass container or an empty jam jar soil sample water and a glass rod dear children you have to perform this activity at your home procedure so let's look what you have to do take a glass container you can use an empty jam jar the purpose for glass container is to see through it so please mind it should be a transparent container put some soil in it fill 3/4 of the container with clean water stir the mixture well with a glass rod and secure the lid firmly leave the setup undisturbed preferably for a couple of days in a safe place observe carefully the different layers of soil so when you do this you will see the different layers of soil will get separated observation the soil separates into different layers gravel that is this layer settles at the bottom and forms the lowermost layer and you can see that the gravels consist of larger particles a layer of sand is formed above the layer of gravel so just above the layer of gravel you can see the layer of sand a layer of clay is formed above the layer of sand now the sand particle are smaller than the particles of gravel and above the sand layer you can see a different layer and that is the layer of clay the particles of clay are much smaller than sand particles dead leaves and animal remains are seen floating on the water so here you can see this humus consist of dead leaves and animal remains it will float on the particle as it is the lightest conclusion based on the size of particles please mind it based on the size of particles soil separates into three layers that is gravel sand and clay the dead and rotting remains of plants and animals are humus dear children let us now study about the different layers of soil before starting please observe the figure 10.1 layers of soil carefully the different layers of soil are also called horizon so instead of layer we'll be calling them horizon a vertical section of soil showing its different layers or horizon is known as soil profile dear children this is vertical and this is horizontal so when we cut the soil vertically we get the vertical section and what is soil profile it is a vertical section of soil in which you can see the different layers or horizon so here we come with a very important definition of soil profile please try to repeat it again with me a vertical section of soil showing all different layers or horizon is called as soil profile so can you call this diagram a soil profile yes you are correct it is a diagram of soil profile the different horizon of soil are as follows the first one is a horizon which is also known as top soil please see the top soil here and just note that all the vegetation is found on top soil second b horizon also known as subsoil can you see the subsoil here the subsoil is also known as b horizon it is just below the top soil third one c horizon also known as parent rock 
can you see the parent rock yes it is here so it is just below the subsoil below the sea horizon bed rock is found which is very hard and solid rock this is bed rock and it consists of solid rocks that's why it is very hard now let's study these two new words soil profile as you all know series of horizontal layers of soil now see in this definition they are saying series of horizontal layers which means that this is horizontal layers and the series of these horizontal layers is called as soil profile if you want to go with vertical you have to say the vertical section that is you have to cut it vertically the vertical section of soil showing all the layers is called soil profile i hope it is clear second definition is humus and what do you mean by humus the organic matter in the soil what are the organic matter the dead remains of plants and animals in the soil are organic matter so that is called as humus children in next video we will study the horizons in detail let's recap in this video we studied the soil is an important natural resource and then we did an activity in which we observed the different types of soils then we studied about layers of soil for that also we performed an activity then we learnt about different layers of soil that is top soil sub soil parent rock and below all these layers we have bed rock now children let's discuss these two questions you have to write it in your notebook also you will receive a pdf file at the end of the chapter for the question answers so the first question is name the uppermost layer of the soil and the answer will be top soil or you can call it as a horizon the second question which layer of soil is called parent rock the answer to this question is c horizon i hope you enjoyed the video we'll meet in the next video till then keep smiling take care and enjoy your day